Wouldn't it be nice to double the results of your massage ads and marketing? Well, once you understand how the platform algorithms work, the Facebook algorithm, the Instagram algorithms, once you understand how those work like I do, you can get some incredible results with your ads. Uh, why am I qualified to talk on this? Uh, my name is Kurt Simpson and we have a nine therapist clinic in Australia. And over the last four, four and a half years that we've been open, I've generated over 12,000 leads for our own business and we've got over 5,000 customers last time I checked last year. So we're over 6,000 probably now. So over 6,000 customers in the last four years in our city. And you can only do that if you are great at ads and they're very profitable. So not only do I do ads for myself, I used to have an ad agency where I helped other industries as well. So I do know a fair bit about social media ads. So really quick video. This is just about hacking the algorithm. So you have your ads work a lot better. I'm gonna go through it pretty quickly my awesome video editor L is going to put up a screen grab in a second and it's about how the algorithm works so you really need to understand first how it works Facebook is a complicated machine right so first of all all ads on social media this is important to know there's, there's actually a few important things you need to know which I'll cover really quickly right now so one is all ads are charged at a cost per thousand impressions basis a lot of people incorrectly think social media ads like Facebook and Instagram ads are charged per click. They're not. It tells you how much your cost per click is, but it's not charged per click. A thousand impressions means it's charged per every thousand people that see your ad. So it could be $20 per thousand people that ad is shown to or $50 per thousand people that ad is shown to by Facebook. And basically all ads are is like it's taking something that you've posted online or in an ads manager and it's just pushing it out to a thousand people at a time. And the better an ad works, the cheaper that cost per impression will get. And I'm gonna show you exactly what to focus on to get that cost per impression down. So you can significantly get cheaper ads or for the same amount of money, get way more results. So the next important thing to understand is Facebook and Instagram and every social media platform, they reward the best ads because they want high quality ads on their platform that people respond to, they take time to look at and read and they react positively to. So they wanna create a great customer experience for the user, which is everyone scrolling on Facebook and Instagram. So if an ad gets a lot of extra clicks and attention and views and positive reactions, those are the ads that are gonna be rewarded. Now there's a few metrics we need to look at for this. So number one is click-through rate. So if you're familiar with the ads manager, you can actually check this metric. It's in the ad ads manager, it's in the back end in the campaign section. It's, uh, it's a little bit, complicated on how to get there, but if you are familiar with it, you can actually break down all these metrics and you can check your ads click-through rate. So a click-through rate of anything above 5% is good. Above 10% is phenomenal. And that just means if a click-through rate is above 10%, it means one in 10 people clicked your ad when they've seen the ad, which is really good. It puts you in like the top 1% of advertisers. So Facebook will make, you, make your ad cost really cheap. How do we make our click-through rate? better. Well, if you think about it, right, the purpose of a great ad is to stop. It's to stop someone scrolling and it's to get them to click. So the only two main things they see is the first and second line of text and the image. You have less than a second to stop a person, to get them to stop first and then click. I want to take a second to ask you for a small favor. If you're finding this video helpful, if you could just tap the like button underneath it, I'd be really grateful. That will tell the YouTube algorithm to share this video with more massage therapists around the world. And hopefully that will help them all earn more income, which is what they deserve. Thanks for helping. Okay, so it's all about the image and the first line. The second line as well is less important than the first line. So you have to get them to stop. First thing, headline has to grab attention, has to be relevant to the person who is looking. So if you are advertising women's underwear, but it's too, uh, that's a bad example because men might buy women's underwear for their partner. But if you are advertising like women's, I don't know, sanitary products, but you're targeting men, no one's going to click on that, right? So for massage, 
massage. Most we're lucky. Most people like massage, right? So over, I'd say over half the population has either had a massage or is fine with having a massage. So that's good. So you don't have to target anyone when you're doing your interest targeting usually because everyone's your target, right? So that's fine. <clears throat> just get your age group right and your location so if you target too far out it's gonna mess up your ad so it has to be relevant it has to set, grab their attention in the first line it has to make them interested enough to click the see more button and then your image has to stand out grab attention and also portray relevance and let the person know really quickly what that ad is going to be about so they might be if they might be interested they will click it that's number one, click-through rate, super important. Once you get the click, then you have to actually get them to take the next action, which is clicking on the button in the ad. Or some people do phone calls or whatever. Um, I don't recommend that. I recommend having your ad have a button so you can start a conversation with your prospect. So click-through rate is really important first. That will show Facebook initially how good your ad is. And then if you have a video, you don't have to do videos. I don't recommend doing videos because they take so long to edit. But if you have a video, attention time is going to be measured in that click-through rate metric as well. The longer someone watches a video, the more Facebook will think that it's high quality content and it will push your ad out cheaper and more often than everyone else's ad. So that's important. Spend a lot of time on getting that first click. It's really important. Headline intro image. Uh, next is getting the next click. So your ad has to be written very well. Uh, it has to make sense. It has to be written with good grammar. It has to be intriguing. It has to be well-spaced. It has to be easy to read. It has to portray an attractive offer to the prospect, get them to click the button. Um, and those are really the main key things. And then you have the conversion action. So once someone clicks and they start a conversation, if you've got a messages ad, then Facebook will see that as a conversion and it will actually rank your click-through rate, your conversion rate, and your quality score against other ads. And quality score is like if you get a lot of likes or loves as well, or reactions, positive reactions, that will help as well. Anytime you get negative reactions, like um, angry faces or anything like that, or sad faces that will derank your, your ad. So those are like the really quick things. I wanted to make this video really quick and short and show you what to focus on to get your ad. If you really want to understand and compare your ads, so this ad got this click through rate and this link click cost, etc. versus, okay, I'm going to test like a different ad, different image, different headline, um, and you can compare them and you can improve over time. You do really need to go into the back end of the ads manager in the campaign section where you can check all the metrics and all that. That's a video for a different time, but you could probably figure that out if you Google how to do that. But that's about it, how to hack the algorithm, focus on click-through rate, focus on attention of your headline, your intro and your image and your quality of your text and how you've written it and watch time and uh, get positive reactions as well. That's about it. Um, if you do all those things and you learn over time and you see how to improve those, your ads are going to perform so much better than everyone else's and is really worth putting the time in to get an amazing image, to get a great headline that works and to understand what works. So I've refined it over time. And if you do want to have, if you don't want to figure all this out, um, below this video, I'm going to have a link to my seven massage clients in seven days training. It's a challenge that I give you my ad templates. I've already tested them in my clinic. I've already proved they work. Uh, I've got over five years of ads in the massage industry from my own ads, other people's ads. I've got over six years of ad experience in general and over four years of massage ad experience in my own clinic. So I've already tested the best ads and I just give them to people in the seven clients and seven days challenge. So you don't have to think about it. You get the ad text, you get the image, you just I show you how to put it up and so it works. And there's been some incredible results which you'll see through the link, people are getting incredible results, like 10, 15, 20 new leads and new clients in a week. So that's a dollar. It's a dollar to try out. So it's irresistible. If you're interested in that, click the link in this post and um, I'll see you inside or I'll see you in the next video.